Right, hello, and I'm back, and, and it's been like half a week about a tutorial. Uh, that's because I've been quite busy, so um, I've just been holding it off, holding it off. I'm going to hold it off till tomorrow, but I thought, um, yeah, I'll just have to do one because uh, just a quick one, just keep them all updated and get this pause menu working. So I've just sat for like two hours, well, maybe it's not that long, about an hour and a half. Off and it just wouldn't work the pause menu, but I got working finally. It was just a stupid little thing. Just changed this line and it's worked. And I think I've been doing loads of changes. I've changed all the functions and everything. I've just got a pause game function now instead of pause. Um, I think it was pause now. I changed it to that because I liked it better. And just got that instead of var pause menu movie clip. Got that. Also, you got a pause button. Instead of pressing P to pause, you just press escape to get off pause. Just changed all that. Put the remove here. Um, pause button. Just pause game. And as you can see, all works. Press escape. Off. Press that. Off. You can go to shop. And that's what we're going to get working today. The shop. Because I was playing about with it before. And I just couldn't get it working. So. I'm going to get working. Right, okay. So I'm going to go into pause menu and it's already started on shop first. I'm going to go into the shop button. And for now, we're going to make it so we can spend money, but not for now. Um, we're going to change that so it should work, but it's not. Let's check if everything's right. Got my weapon. It's named the weapon. Got that. It's named MC. Weapon. Oops. You go into weapon. Yeah, you got your stick, and then you got your like pitchfork thing. Right. Okay. So let's test this out. I tested it before, but it's not working. So I'm just testing it again. I click that. Go back to that. Nothing. Right. This. I'm going to put some trace functions on here. So I'm going to put trace. Oops. Race. Um. Now, just a random thing. Right. So pause. Shop. Comes up now. So that's registered that we've clicked it. So the click's working. Just copy and paste that trace. Now we'll paste that into there. I just had that pasted from before, but um. We have to make root stick equal true because we're picking up the stick. So let's um, make another trace. Alright, we've got weapon select here. Let's make sure it's all spelt right because that could be another error. And um, we got weapon select. Yeah. Then you got current weapon. Should all work, but. It's not. It's probably something really simple. Um, paste it in. Just make sure. Yeah. And you got current weapon. I am so stupid. Because that has to be two. I'm thinking of a raise. It has to be zero. But no. Should all work now. Shop. Yeah. We'll get the stick. Uh, we can't hit because I took the hit, f the hit function off. Oh, um. So we just need. Gonna. I can't be bothered to write it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna copy it off. Yeah. Um. If space down. M C. Um. Down here. If space down. Um, MC to go to and play one. So you hit there like that, and shop by the stick. And you should hit with the stick. Yeah, you hit with the stick. It's really bad to hit just for now, but we'll have to um make that better in later tutorials. And when you hit stuff with the stick, it Collect it. 
Right. One sec, right. Sorry about that, and sorry if you hear any background noise because everyone's in the house and it's just hectic. Right, okay. So, oh, we've already set up cash. Right, I didn't actually know. Right, so we're going. Why do I keep saying alright, alright, alright? Oh no, I haven't set up cash. I'm looking at the wrong game. Right, okay. Right. <laughs> right. We um, have to set up cash. So, cash. Um, equals 500. Start of 500 cash. Right. So, and now we have to set up like a currency system. So, we're going to pause box. Go to there. And we'll ask, we'll ask if cash underscore root cash because it's in the main scene and you want to look out for it in the um scene one so underscore root dot underscore root underscore root dot cash is ooh, what is it it's more than or equal to uh, more um is more than or equal to 500 no not 500 what should we sell our stick for 150 um this all happens and after we'll do like a little debug box let say you don't have enough cash but we'll just leave that for now because we're just doing it simple and don't forget this because cash underscore dot cash underscore root dot cash minus equals 150 right that's that done and now like a box when you make a box so the person knows what cash they got right so make it a dynamic text and make the gra underscore root dot cash and just leave it there should, if it's working it should change to 500 Uh oh I got an error here. So I didn't close my statement off. There. Should run with no errors now. So uh where's the cash button? Do well the cash? Uh, it's oh uh, I was wondering why it wouldn't it wasn't showing up. Yeah, showing up. So now we'll click pause, shop, buy that, cash goes down. Buy two if we want. We can buy three, but we'll have to make it so once you buy a weapon, you can't buy it again. So we'll do that again. Oh, we can do that now actually, really quick. How much time we got? Yeah, that'll be actually quite easy to do because we've already got a variable what tells us if you've already bought it. Stick equal true. So. Oh no, we can just do this to make it quicker. Script and shortcut. And and. Just go root dot stick equal equal true. Oh no. Get that way. There. That should work now. So you go pause. You go shop. Buy it. Um, no, it's not working. False. Oh, underscore root dot stick equal false because if it equals true, then yeah, we want it so you buy it when it's not gone and you haven't got it. So there, you can still buy it. Great, <laughs> right? Um, we'll just leave that to another tutorial. I'll do. I'll find out what's wrong. It's probably something stupid I've missed. We just don't have the time. Now we do, but I want to teach you something else. I want because I, I don't know because we we'll really need to patch this because if we don't, we'll have to go back later. So we might as well patch it. It'll take quick. I can't make my mind up. We'll get that back and we'll trace stick. Stick. Trace. Underscore dot stick. That should work. So we'll click pause. Go to shop. Stick equals false.
6 still equals false. It shouldn't equal false because we've changed it here, but it still does. So, e equal. We need one equal there. Shop. Buy it once. Can't buy it again. Fully working. Alright. Um, now, want to know how to add weapons. Because you can be. I don't want you to just be uh, waiting for the next tutorial. Oh, only got one weapon in my game, which I'll do. No. I don't I don't roll like that. <laughs> right, so what you want to do is you want to copy this. Well first what you want to do is you want to make more weapons. So I've already made a weapon, I made a pitchfork. You can make as many as you want, you can make hundreds if you want. It's take you a long time and a lot of code you'll have to put in. A lot of copy and paste. Uh, just copy this from up here. Copy. Make a space here. Paste it here. We'll make a current weapon equal P four. P fork, P fork, go to free, weapon damage plus free, damage plus free, P fork, equal, equal, equal true. Now I have to set up another variable. This is how we set up weapons. We've got our stick variables, we're going to put here, um, weapon. Connie, I don't. I think I spelled weapon wrong. Um, oh, I was spelled like that. All right, so, oops. Uh, copy that, paste that, cut paste, p fork, and put it there. Go into pause menu. Uh, duplicate that. Duplicate that. Um, eighty pounds. This was oops. Eighty pounds is going to be. Eighty pounds. Yeah. Um, save. Um, break that. Uh, make it more like that. That's a really quick drone. Pretty crap. What thickness is this? Uh, it's four stroke thickness. So just put four here. Um, uh, we'll save it. Nicely done. Straighten up a bit. That looks a bit better. Doesn't look perfect, obviously not, but. Stick by, we'll just, oh god, last of me. Yeah. Um, P, right, fork, by, P, fork, by. I've only got one minute left or something, so, on me recording, so we'll just have to do this quick. Um, P, fork, by, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna go crazy. We we'll buy that and it doesn't work because we haven't put code in. Um, copy that. We we'll need to trace. Take the trace out. Um, quickly do this. Cash. What we're we doing? That's 150 pounds. So we'll better change this to 150. We'll change this to 180. 180. Oh god, um, P4, P4, copy that, P4, cash minus 180, don't think we'll need the trace, unless it something goes, unless it doesn't work, it should all work, shop, yeah, and you go back, and you got all this, the P, the pitchfork, there's a little glitch, you can reach stuff with your fork. Uh, like, go down here. Um, 
Um, we've got the arrow keys the wrong way. We just have to change them quickly. Um, yeah. And that's it. And that's how you set your own weapons up. Just do that loads of times and you'll have loads of weapons. Right, I'll put the file for download. Bye.